Alright y'all, your mama's back. On commentary. <laughs> they double doing well so far versus Olego from San Jose State. Tried to throw him into that tin can there, did not work. 
avoiding these projectiles. All right. Maybe a little matchup check for Zandomo, but it's still going pretty well for him. Barely missed that forward smash. Trying to get the edge guard. Not this time. And if he could do it, honestly, he could probably kill him with the forward tilt at this point. Wow, I'm surprised the gyro didn't move the cam there. Oh, sent him that way. He's dead. All right. You know, this is this is closer than a lot of other matches you would see Zandomo in. Get some damage. Back throw. Lilac. Really interesting choice of the stage here. Causing for some wacky things to happen. You know, with the laser bouncing and the can physics. Really awkward. Oh, wow. That frisbee, man. That's quite a move. It's the shield grab there. And he's at high percent now. This is not going so so well for Zandomo. Nair killed him. Wow. That's pretty high percent for something like that. Wow! Duck Hunt actually low profiled the gyro throw. It's a short little dog, I guess. Directional air dodge to the stage. Get hit by that frisbee. Into the up air. That's going to do it at 162. Right, good reaction from Sandomo. He's got him at 51. You know, this is still pretty doable if he gets a solid, you know, any half of the stock here. You know, maybe he's just not ready to fight a character like Duck Hunt on this stage. Oh, Legos, you know, showing that the students at San Jose State University, they know how to play Smash. They know how to show up. They know how to play the game. Even the best in the region of Central California. They got to play on their top if they want to take him. Almost killed him. Great DI on that up air. Side B. That's going to do it. Strong move. Such a strong move. Oh, a little dash dancing. A little dash dancing from Sandomo. Trying to show off a little bit. Forward air to Frisbee. I'm surprised that worked. He almost died. Great DI, though. Great DI. Little rolls. Not going to help you from that move. That move's crazy, you know? I hear some Duck Hunt players saying, oh, yeah, this move is like, you know, a junior electric wind god fish. I'm not sure how true that is, but... So far, we're seeing it do a lot of work here in this set. Sandomo keeps getting hit by it, you know? He doesn't know how to avoid it just yet. Big hits. Sandomo's narrowly staying alive here. Trades with the can and just runs right into it. There it is. All right, game three here. Sandomo versus Olego. All right, a little, little smiling from Sandomo, maybe. He feels confident. But either way, Olego's showing this duck count knows how to get down against the Rob. Start the battle. Rob. Now I wonder, you know, we're sticking with the Rob. Looks like maybe, maybe Joker. switch to Joker. Okay. The secondary strong, strong Joker here from Zandomo. I mean, that's some confidence from Zandomo to switch from your main to your secondary in a game three situation. He must feel good about his secondary, and at the very least, like he feels confident that he can take this player on. Not the best down B there. I'm, I'm assuming that that's why he opted to switch, because he thinks that the down B is going to be a lot better in this matchup. He's going to have better tools to deal with Duck Hunt's projectiles. Especially that Frisbee, like, like I mentioned before, you know, he couldn't really deal with it very well. Just like that, maybe the down B will, you know, Give him the opportunity to, to deal with it a little bit better in his favor. Running into that can. You can press that while you're in shield. This is an optimized... Oh! Big forward smash. An optimized duck hunt here. Good edge guard. Let's see if he can finish it out with the arsen. There you go. You watch out for the can. You didn't get hit by it quite there. All right. Good start for Sandoma on this game. Good DI. That confirmed could have been real bad for Sandoma. What a grab. That combo is, is pretty cool, honestly. That's, that's, that's quite the combo. Try to hit him into the can. Didn't work this time. Directional air dodge. Hit by the can. Not the best DI. All right. Small, small lead for Zande, Zandomo. Back air. That's weaved it in there. Joker's so tricky. Okay. Solid 54 damage. There we go. And that right there. That's why I think he switched. Now he's got full arsen. Boom. He traded 36% for a full arsen, and it's working in his favor. Now, Oletgo is at 112. That's definitely kill percent. 
A dog versus someone as beefy as an arson back here. Watch out for that can. Not quite this time. Got to be careful of that. He's getting a little bit better at dealing with it. That dash attack, that's going to do it. Maybe not the best DI. I feel like he possibly could have lived that. I'm not sure how heavy exactly Duck Hunt is. Uh-oh. That's not good. Big combo. 93-107. Taking some big hits here. Zandomo, if he doesn't pick this up, then he could be looking at a last hawk situation. Game 3. What even hit him there? Oh, that was the shooter. 143. Arsene is out. But it doesn't matter because he's dead now. Big situation here. Just like last stock, a small lead of 40% now. Arsene's going to do a good deal of damage. Big back air. Big hit. Oh, there's one. Oh, he let go just in time. All right, he's playing very aggressively, and it's not working out for him right now. Big dash attack. 91%. No way. I can't believe that did it. Wow, at 91%. Feeling a little disappointed, Olego, for sure. But, you know, when that Arsene came out, that's when Zandomo did his work. I mean, that's the opportunity he was waiting for. That was his win condition. And he